In today's video, we're going to be having a look at five new features that I really like in the recent 2022.8 update. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Kicking this all off then, we've got one of the bigger features of the update, and that's first class Bluetooth. In the previous release, many of the Bluetooth integrations became broken due to an incompatibility with the library that many of them used and the latest version of Python that got added. But in 2022.8, a brand new integration has been added for Bluetooth by the legend that is Beadraco. The new Bluetooth integration supports automatic device discovery and also the ability to push updates directly to other integrations. This means that there'll be one integration to rule them all and you won't have lots of different integrations all trying to make use of the radio and all trying to do their own thing, causing dropouts and miscommunication amongst Bluetooth. The setup for the new integration is nice and simple. Just simply insert a Bluetooth dongle into your machine and the integration should pop up ready for you to set up. If you're already making use of a device that has Bluetooth built in, then again, you should automatically find that integration. Failing that, you can add the integration directly from the Add Integration menu. Once your integration is set up and installed, it will automatically start trying to discover Bluetooth devices that are nearby. Currently, we've got support for things like Govi, Xiaomi and SwitchBot. So if you have any of those devices and they're turned on nearby, Home Assistant should automatically detect them and allow you to set them up directly. And yes, the SwitchBot curtains will now work directly with Home Assistant. When I plugged my dongle in, they were automatically detected and I was able to simply add them in. And it took about 10 seconds between telling the curtains to open and close before they actually triggered the action. But it's nice that they now work directly with Home Assistant. Another nice addition to this Bluetooth integration is the HomeKit controller now also supports Bluetooth devices. So if you have any of those, they'll also now pass through to the HomeKit controller. Moving on to my second feature, and it's a small UI refinement that's been added to the maps. Previously, maps had this very dull and washed out look to them. While they were usable, they were very hard to read, especially if you were making use of dark mode or a dark theme. Thankfully, in this update, the maps have received a splash of colour, which has greatly increased the readability of them. You can now easily distinguish and contrast between points on the map, and this also carries across to the dark mode, if you're a dark mode user. Continuing on with my third feature, we've got repairs. Repairs is an up and coming new feature for Home Assistant and the idea behind it is it's going to be a one stop shop to educate and inform you about all the issues and potential problems that you may have with your Home Assistant. It's located in the settings menu and inside of here you'll see a nice little dashboard and on here you're going to see all the relevant information about issues that are happening in your Home Assistant and how you can fix them but also you'll see alerts about current problems with current integrations or also information about problems and deprecations that are going to happen in future versions of Home Assistant. You can kind of think of it as like a little information center for your Home Assistant and this will be the place where you can go for information on what you can do to resolve problems in your setup. This is the first release of repairs and I do imagine more features and functionality are going to be added to it over time so it's going to be interesting to see where this actually goes. Up next we've got my penultimate feature and it's a brand new integration for Raspi. If you've never seen or heard of Raspi, it's an open source, fully offline voice assistant. And with its integration into Home Assistant, you'll be able to make voice commands directly to Home Assistant and have that trigger things all locally and offline. Currently with Raspi Junior, some of the domains you can control with your voice are things like climate, covers, fans, humidifiers, lights, locks, switches. I imagine more will be added over time. Raspi comes in two different flavours. You've got the Raspi Junior, which is more of your plug and play setup. And then you've got the full blown version of Raspi, which allows you to do all the tweaking and playing around with the configs. If Raspi sounds interesting to you and you'd like to see me cover it in a future video, then do let me know in the comments below. Wrapping this all up then with my final feature, and it's an improvement to the network setting screen. This one's another small one, but it's a very nice addition. Now all of your network settings are going to be exactly where you expect them to be in the network settings page. Now in the network settings page, you can view all of the different interfaces that you might have for your machine. You can also view and control the Home Assistant URL and also any network adapters that you may currently have. And there we go guys, that's been a quick look at five new features that I really like in the 2022.8 release. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite feature was and while you're down there, don't forget to drop me a like and if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell. You'll then be alerted to any future video that I do. As always, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes. 
These awesome dudes are my Patreons. If you're interested in helping support my channel, which in turn allows me to create content like this, then you'll find a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you want to check out some other cool things that you can do with Home Assistant, and in particular some cool automations, then you should definitely check out this video just here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.